Uh, after LA's loss to the Raptors on Sunday, you tweeted, quote, Lakers feel like a broken team with very little time to get right. Now, they came back to beat the Nuggets on Monday with no LeBron and no Dennis Schroeder. What's the mindset of this team right now? I think they hit their bottom, and they recognize that they need to start building upwards, and the Denver game gave them a sort of uh, blue, uh, blueprint to follow, right? We're going to play really hard defense, make sure that every possession is something that we take care of the basketball and we're not taking bad shots, and play for one another. And, and if they do that, I'm not going to say they're going to go 7-0 and over this final stretch of the season, but they recognize they will be competitive and be in games. It won't be embarrassments like they had against the Raptors, a team that was 12 games under 500 that had a 19-point lead on the Lakers in the fourth quarter. All right, Dave, we got a Woj bomb yesterday saying that LeBron James will be out for Thursday's game and Friday's game. And Friday's game is against the Blazers. Thursday's against the Clippers. These are games that matter, of course, for seeding. No LeBron. Is this precautionary or is it kind of foreshadowing how serious the ankle injury is? I mean, first of all, it is serious. I mean, it's the the, in, in some ways, the most significant injury of his career. He missed more time with this injury, even more so than the groin he had in his first year with the Lakers. Now, in terms of him missing these two games, if that means all of a sudden things have gotten worse, Frank Vogel's pushed back against that. He said it wasn't necessarily a, uh, a setback that he had in the last game that he played. It was just that you know he needs some more time to get it fully right. And we can give him time now because these aren't the playoffs. In the playoffs, we obviously can't afford to have him sit. We need him at whatever percentage he's at at that point. Now, Frank Vogel left the door open that he could potentially return for the Blazers game. Now, obviously, I, I, everything I'm hearing, and obviously Adrian Wojnarowski's report would suggest that would be very unlikely. Uh, but I guess technically he is not absolutely shut down for that Blazers game. And the Blazers game has a ton of implications right now because the Lakers have a full game lead over the Blazers for that uh, number seven spot, which would make them in the play in tournament. Lakers have no layups over the next four games. Here's the, here's the schedule. Thursday, they're hoping the hosting the Clippers. Friday, they're in Portland to take on the Blazers. Sunday, they're hosting the Red Hot Suns. And then Tuesday hosting the supernova hot New York Knicks. <laughs> Will the Lakers fall to the dreaded seventh seed by the end of this stretch, in your opinion? By the end of this, this stretch, I, I could see that happening. I, I, they get a little bit easier uh, of a go after that. They play the Rockets. They play, uh, I believe, Indiana and New Orleans to, to finish out the season. Uh, easier games than this stretch, but this is a, a tough go. And, and as well as they played against Denver, they have another potential setback against the Clippers and Talon Horton Tucker, who is one of their two point guards right now because LeBron and Schroeder are out. He has a calf strain, didn't practice on Wednesday and is questionable for Thursday against the Clippers. So when it rains, it pours. At some point, they will not be able to do what they did against Denver as they keep losing bodies. But you know, at the same token, it's not like you pencil this as an 0-4 stretch. You have Anthony Davis still on this team one of the best five or six players in the league when he's locked in. Let's see if he can do more like what he did against Denver and lead them to salvation. Dave McMenamin covers the NBA for ESPN. He's kind enough to join us here on Bet. Dave, we appreciate the time. Thank you very much. Happy to join you, fellas. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.